Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake. Listen to me. This morning, I woke up. I woke up between three and four to go pee, and and when I woke up, I had something on my mind concerning me, so I laid in bed a while to try to go back to sleep. Well, well, after a while, I asked, well, I asked the Lord to begin talking to me. But then, but then, after that, I tried to be silent and wait for the Lord to talk. But after I asked him to, asked him to talk to me, something else began bugging me. I had something else on my mind that was bugging me. So so then I asked so then I asked the Lord what to do and he said watch T V. So so James one says if we ask the Lord for wisdom he'll give it to all men liberally. Matthew chapter six Verse 30 through 40. I believe it is verse 35, but don't say I said that for sure. One of those verses, one of those 10 verses says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. The reason I made this video is just to prove to you when something's bugging you, worrying you, concerning you, or whenever you... Or whenever you're thinking about something you don't like, can't stand, or hate, that is a reason to pray to ask God to talk to you and or to ask him to tell you what to do. Pardon me if I burp. <coughs> Pardon me. So, yeah. So, yeah. Matthew chapters 7 and John 14 both say, Asking you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Titus 1, the Lord does not lie. Malachi 3, the Lord does not change. First John 1, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, the Lord is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So, folks, keep in mind, whenever you have something bugging you, ask the Lord for help. And also keep in mind, Psalm, the book of Psalms, chapter 138, says, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Now, I want to I wanna clarify something. Psalm has 150 chapters. So, so... Psalm, the 138th chapter, I don't know, I don't know what verse says, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth you. Folks, I heard that verse many, 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 many years ago when I was just listening to my Bible, but I didn't pay much attention at the time to where that verse was at, but when I heard that, <laughs> when I heard that back then, I, I I didn't have a Bible on my iPad or iPhone. At that time, I don't even think I had an iPhone, but I may be wrong. I had a New Living Translation Bible on DVD. So yeah, folks, it took me forever to find that Bible verse. So folks, whenever you have something, whenever you have something bugging you, I am just making this video so you'll have something to rely on when anything is bugging you. I thought I may have heard a mouse in my room, and that's one of the things that was bugging me. So yeah, so yeah, whatever anything or anyone is bugging you, I made this video for you to turn to it, so that way you'll have one less problem. 
First Peter 5 says, Cast all your cares on the Lord, for he careth for you. Matthew 11 says, Come unto me, ye who are weary and heavy laden, you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, as the New Living Translation says. The Bible also says in that, in that same verse and chapter that I will give you rest, for my yoke and burden are easy and light. So, folks, folks, when I thought I heard a mouse behind my recliner, I was so concerned. That was the second reason I couldn't think about the Lord, and that is why I asked him what to do. So when he said to watch TV, once my mind calmed down, I decided to make you this video to help you with any worries or concerns i'd like to know i'd like to know how much this video helps you but otherwise do not thank me other than letting me know how much this helps you do not thank me